Well, Fort Johnson soldiers and the 3rd Infantry Brigade of the 10th Mountain Division are gearing up for a military exercise in northern Europe, followed by a military deployment in the European theater immediately after. Colin Vidros explains. The importance of this one is that we will be deploying back to European continent uh, for the first time, and it will be our first time partnering with uh, our newest NATO allies in Sweden and in uh, Finland. Since its activation in 2004, the 3rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team and the 10th Mountain Division has deployed every two years to various places around the world. Now in the coming months, those soldiers will embark on the largest NATO exercise since the Cold War. The NATO is restructuring uh, its pieces and part of that restructuring is our partnership with them. And so as our allies and partners, we train with them to ensure that we can both fight and sustain ourselves uh, in a multinational environment. The first deployment scheduled for April is part of a Defender Europe exercise named Immediate Response. Its focus is on convoy operations from Norway to Finland with a month-long partnership exercise with the Finnish military and an emphasis on NATO collaboration. The second deployment set for June involves a nine-month rotational deployment across multiple NATO countries in Europe aimed at bolstering alliances and partnerships within the region. Commander Ryan Barnett says for the soldiers, their training is no different than at Fort Johnson, but will increase with each level of complexity. We'll train uh, from the battalion level, integrating our NATO partners, our allies, and then from the brigade level, we'll train on how to integrate and control things like airspace and artillery, the more complicated task in a multinational and joint environment. The exercise is part of training the overall military effort to switch battle tactics. Commander Barnett says part of that is combining and readjusting NATO's strategic plan on how it reacts to aggression in Eastern Europe. As what we've learned throughout history is the units that can adapt faster and change faster while in contact are more successful. And so part of that is our ability to prove that we can do that while in the European theater with our partners. At Fort Johnson, for News Channel 5, I'm Colin Vidros.